Hi, boys and girls. Let's get started on a new art project. Our inspiration is this painting by an artist named Jasper Johns. Can you tell what he made a painting of here? Ooh, I bet you're going to say the alphabet. Well, guess what? Our project is called Alphabet Soup. We're going to see if we can do art using letters. We're going to concentrate on this word right here, thick. We're going to see if we can make letters that are very thick. This is what a thick line looks like. Thin, T-H-I-N, thin. This is what a thin line looks like. We're going to see if we can use mostly thick lines today to make the letters of the alphabet. So this is the kind of paper we're starting with. We're going to begin with A and any color of crayon. So when you make an A that looks like that, is that thin or thick? Did you say thin? Yes, we're going to see if we can make it thick. So use your crayons to color back and forth to make letters that are much, much thicker. That way they will really show up and really stand out on your art project. Did you see me mark out the A? That's going to help me keep track of which, which letters I still need to do. So here's my B, capital B, making it thick. Oh, that's a beautiful B. It really stands out because I thickened it and I crossed it out. Every time you go to a new letter, guess what? It's going to be very colorful if you pick a new crayon. Don't do the whole alphabet with the same color. See if you can switch colors every time you go to a new letter. So let's just take a look here as I go through the alphabet. So check out these two bowls of alphabet soup. You like this one or this one? Which one stands out more? I bet you're going to guess this one. That's because all of the letters are thick. So let's work on the bowl next. This little space right here, that's what we're coloring for the bowl. Your bowl can be one color or you can make it with a pattern. Check it out. So the last and final step today is to add the watercolor paint. You can use yellow, you can use orange, or you can use both. Just try to remember to rinse your brush out between colors and try to remember to wipe your paintbrush on the edge of the cup so you don't splash it everywhere. So I will see you next week when we get together and finish our bowl of alphabet soup. <music>